Hey everybody! Alright, so I wanted to come on here quickly to show you my current setup of my Midori. I just filmed my journals update, which I'm not sure if I'll post before or after this. Either way, they're both going to be posted at about the same time. And uh, I did change a few things around, partly because I'm using things up. Secondly, because I got a few new things in and I've wanted to just kind of add them to my Midori and I finally have. Um, so as usual, this is the cover. I've got the regular brown Midori. Haven't changed the band. It's the same one that it came with. Only I added the Pan Am pen loop. Yes, this is the blue leather and yes, it's supposed to be for the blue leather notebook insert or notebook cover. But I personally don't care because I got a bunch of Pan Am things recently for my travels to England. So I kind of wanted to follow up with that theme. And originally I was going to wait to add this and a few other Pan Am things. But I decided to keep it on there. So, I don't know, it just makes me happy. I am currently using the Pilot Varsity fountain pen. This is a disposable one. Very affordable. I got this on Amazon Prime. I think it was about $4 for a pack of three. And totally worth it. Um, it's a medium nib. Great for beginner fountain pen users uh, like me. So just wanted to get a feel for it. Know how it writes. How it works. Uh, writes better than a quill and like a feather quill and um, ink, which I have used before. Uh, so writes very smoothly. It has a darker ink than this one, which is the Platinum Preppy, which is a Japanese brand. I much prefer this one because not only does the pen actually fit into the pen loop, but this one comes off as more of a gray black. This one has a darker ink on, on it. So for the two disposable fountain pens, I much prefer this one. So going in... I have the same business card holder with the same photos, pretty much. I did change the photo here. I'm adding the one from with me and my brother in the middle because I did take out the regular zip pocket, which was clear. Because um, in my previous video, I had a lot of things displayed on here on the back too, but with the Pan Am insert, the pocket insert, you can't really see anything. Um, so. I'm kind of prepping myself for the excitement of my trip to England, so that's why I kind of decided to add all my Pan Am things early. Um, in here I've got... oh, I got quite a few things actually, so I'll try to get through this quickly. I had a few sticker flakes and um, vellum such things that I just wanted to use up, so I threw them in there. Some English themed stickers, Big Ben sticker, um, I think this is a Tim Holtz vellum piece, Sumiko Garashi stickers, Heidi Swap vellum piece, some stamps, another Heidi Swap vellum piece, more Sumiko Garashi stickers, uh, Snoopy stickers. Oh my gosh, more Sumiko Garashi. I'm obsessed, can you tell? But they're too cute to use. <laughs> more Sumiko Garashi. Uh, these are Cavallini & Co. bird stickers. I love this quote, which I love to keep in here. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. I'm not sure where I got that from. Maybe a, a pen pal sent that to me, but I thought that was such a, a great saying that I like to keep that as a reminder. More stickers and some Midori travel theme stickers. So that all goes into this pocket, which I'll just put back later. Um, and then I'm on journal number 46 right here. This is the Moleskin Chapters journal, which there was a big hype about it because it was pretty much cut to fit, not specifically for the Midori, but it. It, the size fits perfectly into the Midori. It doesn't stick out too much. Um, that's what it looks like closed. And it really doesn't bother me in that. It's built so you can kind of write 
brief chapters, say if you were planning an actual story or something. And then in the back, there is a to-do list. So there are seven chapters uh, with, I don't know how many pages in each chapter, the to-do list in the back. And then they're kind of like dotted, so you can check them off. And then in the back, you can write your little index of your chapters. And I'm not crazy about the format, obviously because it's not built for journaling. It is something that lets you have it lie flat, which is really nice. But I'm not crazy about the lined paper, which I found uh, is my preference. I prefer blank paper. I don't like the heading broken, broken down like that, too, in this wide space on the bottom because I feel like it's just wasted space. I just like to have everything filled up. So I've been kind of decorating with washi tape to kind of use up that space. I also find that because it's got the chapters broken down like that, I just have blank space. I don't know what to do with it. I don't necessarily have a lot of things to paste in the inside necessarily in that order um, or sometimes there are just journals where I just have more writing than actual things to put in and so I've been trying to fill it with washi and using things up but with that I just feel like it's wasted space there so that's another I guess downside to this I'm more or less just trying to use it up I'm not too happy about this notebook Another thing is, I don't know if you can see that, but the string is actually cutting into the binding of this notebook. After I got it, and after the hype of it, um, I heard a lot of people saying exactly that in the Traveler's Notebook forums about the Chapter's Notebooks, is that the binding broke. And so there it is. It just, without that uh, stitching right there, it would have just gone right through. So I feel like it's just, it's not great quality. The fountain pen seems to kind of bleed through the paper. And as you can see, there's bleeding. And you can see it bleed on the text too. And so it's not, it's not a crisp text, which I very much prefer. So that is, those are my thoughts on the chapters notebook. I'm not really happy with it, but I've got like this much to use up and so that, there it is. <laughs> um, I don't know, have you guys experienced this? I, it just seems like a lot of people have been saying similar things about it. So anyway, that's that for the notebook. I have the traveler's notebook what are these? Film pocket stickers? My husband has recently gotten into Midori's and I'm hoping that I have the video up already if you haven't seen it or I will have it up um, where I kind of vlog about him getting a Midori uh, which I'm really excited about because I think he's seen me carry this around so much that he kind of really got into it. And he got a bunch of things for it. He wanted the business card holder like mine, but he accidentally ordered this instead. And when he got it, he's like, well, that's not what I wanted. But after I read what it was, I think I'll keep them. So what it is, is it's just a film. So like the little triangular pockets that you can buy for the Midori that you can stick to the leather. Same idea. This is what you can stick to the paper. And the shaded part is the actual part that sticks. So you can use it to keep track of tickets, um, photos, business cards, and things like that. There's six sheets with 18 pockets. And I thought, well, if he's not going to use it, this is totally perfect for traveling. And I thought, well, maybe I can use this for my trip to England to keep track of uh, mementos and things like that. So I totally didn't know this existed, but I'm so glad that he incorrectly ordered this because now I will be able to use that. And so I just, I've been keeping it here because I just don't know what to do with it. Um, nothing too crazy in here. I just have one pocket filled with some Sumiko Garashi note paper.
Sorry, this is a long video. I just like to get a little chatty. So if you've watched my videos, you probably just know that's going to happen. I've got a Sumiko Garashi folder that I just kind of stick in here with some leftover stickers that I'm trying to use up. This came from the Happy Scrappy uh, subscription. These are like little cloud stickers. So I've been using them to like write the dates on when I date my journal entries. So that just goes in there. Nothing's really changed here except I put a Pan Am sticker right there. Um, same photos. And I keep my super adorable baby bow scissors that fit perfectly into the zip, uh, the little pocket there. And that is it. That is my setup for my current um, journaling purposes. I like it because I'm not keeping too much in there. Um, I'm keeping a lot of travel theme things because I'm just really excited for my trip. So just all the little travel theme things are making me... Um, just reminding me that vacation is coming so I don't have to get too stressed out. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And, you know what, I'll quickly show you what's in my J.Crew case too. I did change things up a little bit. I'm keeping a spare Varsity Pilot pen, a spare Uniball Vision Elite pen, the same crane scissors that I have. I don't have the glue stick in just yet that I mentioned, um, or the glue uh, pen. But I am keeping the Midori pencil here um, for some sketching. Fits in perfectly right there. And then I've got some travel theme things all ready to go for my trip. And I'm sure I'll do an updated travel setup for my Midori. So some Pan Am theme washi, um, some more washi for the trip, some more Midori stickers and a vellum envelope, some Pan Am stickers and some journaling cards. So that is what I've got in that little pocket. And everything fits so perfectly into this case that I just, I honestly can't tell you how much I love this setup. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!